It's about uh, 11 minutes to the top of the hour. Thank you so much for staying here on the AM show. It's now time to take some of your comments on the big issue we've been discussing so far. And it has to do with the majority, leaders, uh, majority leader's call for a reduction in the number of ministers. And uh, a lot of you have been sharing your comments with us. Cut down on number of ministers, he says. Majority leader suggests to executive. And he was quick to mention that he wasn't speaking uh, to this current government, but speaking to all governments that have existed uh, in this current dispensation. Uh, Albert Harm says the problem is not COVID-19 because your government received millions of dollars and billions of CDs. The problem is incompetence and mismanagement. And they are linking this to the number in current economic situation. Francis Danso says, swallow your pride and do the rightful, needful. The corruption was overwhelming in you. Okay, I'm not sure what he's trying to say there. Um, it's a bit confusing. Nana Boateng says, we need to come to a conclusion that as a nation, we cut the size of ministers. Why sh should we buy land cruiser and also provide S. Gracia? And uh, why should all statesmen be paid? Okay. Well, we'll end it there. It's quite confusing what Nana Boateng is saying over there. But let's cross over now to uh, the Ecobank head office at Rachel and Accra, where we are launching the Ecobank Joint News Habitat Fair. Benjamin Akako is there for us. Yeah, you're still live on the AM show on the Joy News channel, but we're connecting with you here from the headquarters of Echo Bank here in the heart of Accra. And it's all about the Echo Bank Joy News Habitat Fair. It's the 13th edition, and uh, if you thought last year was big, as we're talking about the housing dilemma to build or to buy, this year is going to get even bigger because where you live, matters. So thank you for joining us at the, the auditorium of uh, Ecobank as we have the next Ecobank Habitat Fair. It is brought to you, this event is brought to you in partnership with Ecobank, the Pan-African uh, Bank, and it's powered by the planned city extension project from cities and habitats rent to own. It's also sponsored by Elegant Homes and General Construction Limited, where quality meets value, Virtual Security Africa, Complete Security solu uh, Solutions, Superlock Technologies Limited, you deserve the best. DBS Industries Limited, we truly are your roof experts and got key properties, building prestige since 1997. If you just joined us, where you live matters. And that's why we're having this Ecobank Joy News Habitat Fair. That said, let me quickly introduce the guests uh, with whom we're going to have our discourse this morning as we have this event. The launch, of course, will be later. But why does it matter where you live? Joining us for some very important conversations this morning, we have Mrs. Dorothy Ifwa Kwashi, Executive Director, uh, Elegant Homes and General Construction Limited. She's to my immediate left, Mrs. Kwashi. A very good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. We also have joining the conversation from Superlock Technologies, Mr. Ebenezer Bediakon. He is sales manager for Superlock Technologies. Mr. Bediakon, a very good morning to you. Thank you. I love the smile <laughs> on your face. Yeah. I'm we'll also be joined uh, shortly by the project manager for the Planned Cities and Extension uh, Project Cities and Habitat. He'll be taking a seat with us uh, shortly in the person of Daniel Oheni Edu. But let's kick start the conversation from here. We all know why it's important that we own our own homes and that the essence that it really plays in our lives. According to statistics from our own ministries, our own government of Ghana, we have more than 1.2 million deficit when it comes to housing and according to that same data we need to be producing about 85,000 homes annually to deal with our housing deficit but how do we go about that especially as where you live matters so much let's get into that discussion and I'll be starting with Mrs. Uh, Kwashi of Elegant uh, Homes this is her first interaction with me so she's a bit <laughs> flaccid Mrs. Squashy, let, let, let's talk about 
what your entity does, your outfit does. Uh, what solutions do you offer briefly? Let's start from there before we get into the meat of the matter. Okay. Elegance Homes is a, um, a general construction and real estate development um, company. We undertake um, general construction. We do um, road construction. We build for institutions and we build for individuals. And we also have our gated estate located at Amrahia, Katamanso, of the Adenta Dodowa Road currently, where we have three, four, and five detached um, houses available for sale. Basically, that is what we do. Right, and you, you have outfits in Accra, in Kumasi. Yes, we, we've undertaken some projects in Kumasi, Takrade, Tamale for clients. And we also have um, a sister company, Elegant Homes Products Limited, that sell UPVC windows, plasterboards, cornices, accessories, and many more for the housing industry. If you go through the 37 area and you see that wonderful building uh, a bit close to the cantonment's post office, you know that it is their handiwork. I'm talking about the Land uh, Commission, Elegant Homes delivering that and many more. Well, let me also come to Mr. Bidiako. Uh, it's good to have you once more. Thank you, Benji. Tell us a bit about <coughs> Superlock Technologies. Okay, so Superlock Technologies is a company that is into building products. Um, we say that we sell after construction products. So okay. let's say, for example, if you build your house and you roofed it and plastering, then you need superlock. Yeah. What we do is that we sell best security doors. I mean, I can say a lot about it, but that will be maybe later. We sell aluminum windows and doors, very fantastic ones. Uh, we sell burglar proofs. Um, we are into kitchen. Of late now, we are into kitchen, kitchen cabinet and all that. We are also into balustrade, I think I've mentioned. We are into pergola. We are into a whole lot of things that immediately you finish your construction. Just come to Superlock and we'll help you to make your house beautiful and best. We also take into consideration security, safety, style, and beauty. I mean, all this is into, it comes together to make your house very beautiful. So basically, this is what I'll say. <laughs> right. It's quite a lot that you say uh, you do uh, so many things, in fact, when it comes to the post work, when it comes to uh, someone's house. Yes. But if I were to ask you, what is your niche as Superlock? What would you say? What is your, uh, that area where you stand out? What would you say? Okay, so I'll talk about the security door, the best security door you can find in the world. Mm. I can tell you because it's an Israeli product mm. so it has Israeli technologies a security door with Israeli technology and we all know in this world that the Israelis have one of the best um, uh, defense system or technology or security systems but apart from that we are not only giving you the best quality product we are giving you a very good best service before and even after sale service I am one of the only companies in Ghana that before I sell to you I even come to your site take measurements give you on-site consultation. For example, if you need a security door, I'm not just walk into your house and say, okay, you need five doors, that's it. No, I need to talk to you, understand your need, and I need to also give you advice to, to, to be sure that what you are choosing is the right solution and the best solution. Mm. Um, I can also talk about the fact that in Ghana, I do my own installations, delivery and installations, and I have the best technical team you can find so when it comes to security doors, Superlock is the best. I can also say, Ecobank can even testify that- uh, Oh, Ecobank yes, is one of your clients. Yeah, of course, uh, right. most of the banks in Ghana, about 96% in Ghana, they are buying security doors from me for their ATM units. That's very reassuring. Of course. That's very of course, reassuring. Of course, for their yeah. ATM units, for their vote rooms, and wherever they need um, um, security door, they, they always call us for it. So basically, I can say much, but... <laughs> Mr. Bidiako, what tone? What tone? No, just to make the conversation nice. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Let me offer the same opportunity right before we get into why it matters, where you live, and why any uh, mistakes, any errors in there could be very costly. Let me give you that same opportunity. Uh, what makes Elegant Homes uh, stand out? Very briefly, so we get into the next subject. What makes us stand out? One, our unique architectural designs that we give our clients. Mm. When you walk into our gated estate, the ambience, the serenity, 
and a cozy environment is anything that one will desire. The designs are all unique. The quality of work that you see, the tarred roads, the solar street lights, the underground sewer system, the covered drains, 24-hour security, and lately a high-speed fiber optic internet that has been added to the estate. It's a must-have. It's a place that you want to live and love where you live. Um, we also offer tailor-made service where we sit with our clients and let them tell us exactly what they want. In that a client can come with his or her own design or we can design something specifically to suit you. Mm. You can also choose any of our own designs and have it customized solely to suit you. You have the flexibility of choosing your own finishing items. If you want to choose your tiles, you want to choose your windows, you want to choose your lighting, everything about home. So it can be custom made. It can be, it can be customized for you. Once you have the kwacha. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's also important uh, to mention. Exactly. So we're coming to you live uh, from the Ecobank headquarters here in Accra, in the heart of Accra specifically. It's all about the Ecobank Joy News Habitat Fair, it's the 13th edition. And if you thought the previous ones were big, well, every year we up the ante. And this year it's going to be even bigger as we talk about why, where you live matters. And it's on that tangent that I'll start with you, uh, Madam Kwashi. Where you live matters, but we know about the housing situation in Ghana. When you look at Ghana currently, what do you see? I gave the statistics out there, and even this is... Uh, so to speak, outdated statistics, the 1.2 million housing deficit and the fact that we need to be creating about 85,000 units every year. We're not meeting that. We're not meeting UN standards. We're not meeting the standards of our people. You just have to get onto the streets of Accra and other places to see that. But why is it crucial uh, where we find ourselves in terms of housing currently? I'll start with you. It's very crucial because one, you know we are not expanding and there is no roadmap where maybe government is developing. We've heard a lot about affordable housing, right. uh, government is putting up buildings for people. But you and I know that even with the government sector, the affordable housing are not really affordable enough mm. for the ordinary Ghanaians. And for the private sector, fine. A private man can develop and put in all the infrastructure. But then it is targeted because you can't say that you go and borrow money from the bank and come and build for certain category of people. Now, when it comes to uh, location and real estate, it matters a lot. Uh, you can have... Um, properties, big houses being built elsewhere with all the amenities. But if the neighborhood is no good, definitely it becomes difficult for one to resell. And let us not forget that location is a permanent feature. Right. You know, with housing, you can upgrade, you can do renovations and bring it to a certain standard, but you can never change the location. And so when you are choosing a property, you want to make sure as much as you, you want to uh, live in an environment, you want the best, right. where amenities, where roads, where quality, and all that come to play. And I also say that location is key because you should love where you live. You should be able to come to work then like you have done mm. in the morning and be happy to drive back home. So when we talk about... Some people about frown when they're going back Exactly. Home. And, and partly it's because about the road networks. The road networks. For some people it's the road networks, the for road some people it's the environment, environment. so many things. Exactly. So I, I get the point. You uh -huh. know. But you, you get what you want mm. if you, you want to spend a bit more to mm. get what you want. So, uh, just a quick question. Yeah. So I know for, for other you know, construction entities and housing projects, they have the possibility of maybe starting with a one, two bedroom and building on that. Do you offer that as well? We start from three and four bedrooms because right. of what we have put in our estate. When you walk into elegant homes, um, the ambience is kind of an European standard. I, I can't describe it. In fact, sometimes people do even tell us that the pictures we show on the screen is different from the reality. You get there and you ask yourself, am I in Ghana? Yes, the covered drains are there. I mean, you don't see uh, that the place doesn't get flooded. It's when a whole it new world, isn't it's it? It's a whole new world. It's a heaven on earth. Good point. Good point. Uh, someday you will get the money to be able to, you know, <laughs> afford some of these. But it's important where you live. It shapes your life. In fact, 
I was just looking at this quote before coming on air from the Youth Volunteer Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity. I found it very interesting and very true, very apt. It says, housing really affects all aspects of a person's life. Housing really affects all aspects of a person's life. Sometimes you wake up in the morning and where you live makes you annoyed for no reason. It's just where you live that makes you annoyed where you're starting from. But let me also bring in Daniel Ohini Edu, project uh, manager with the Planned Cities Extension uh, Project, Cities and Habitats Rent to Own. They are also one of our key sponsors. In fact, this event, the Echo Bank Joy News Habitat Fair is powered by the Plan City Extension Project from Cities and Habitat. Danny, a very good morning to you. Good morning to Ben. Uh, it appears you owe me a whole more. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be getting into that later. But yeah. since we've already started the conversation, right. I just want you to tell us a bit about the Plan Cities Extension Project. Mm. I know you mm. are in the Pram Pram area. Yeah. Beyond that, tell us a bit about what makes you stand out before we get into the main conversation. Yeah, absolutely. The, our model rent to own stands out. I mean, if for nothing at all. And the fact that ours is a huge, is a huge city that's coming up and um, you know, a place where you can actual, actually live and work, mm. recreate and have all kinds of, you know, um, every kind of lifestyle you, you can think about, you know, because we also know that uh, most areas are choked. These days we are talking a lot about climate change, coming up with floods, very poor sanitary conditions. So you need a place like the new Accra City or the Plant Cities Extension Project, you know, being championed by the cities and habitats. And of course, the rent to own makes it stand out. Mm. It, it give us a bit of an understanding yeah. of your rent to own sure. facility, very right. briefly. Yeah, so um, briefly, rent to own, um, as the name goes, you are living in a place or you're going to live in a place that you haven't paid fully. You are renting it and paying installments, you know, incrementally until you have finished paying and the home becomes yours. And you have up to about 25 years, you know, to finish paying and it's yours. You can pay upfront, you can choose any term, whether it's five years, 10 years, two years, you can choose depending on your pocket. So we'll work it out for you. Once you finish paying, the home or the house becomes yours. Mm. Yeah. So simply put, uh, we're still here. Uh, it's the Echo Bank Joy News Habitat Fair. We are the Echo Bank HQ, and it's powered by the Plan Cities Extension Project from Cities and Habitats, also sponsored by Elegant Homes and General Construction Limited, where quality meets value, Virtual Security Africa, Complete Security Solutions, Superlock Technologies Limited. You deserve the best. DBS Industries Limited, we truly are your roof experts and gold key properties building prestige since 1997. Let me come back to you, Daniel. So where you live matters is the theme for this year's uh, Habitat Fair. Last year we were talking, we're all over the place, you know, probing into uh, that dilemma, the building dilemma yeah. or the housing dilemma to build or to buy. Yeah. We've gone past that. Yeah. And this year we want to know why it is so important where we live. For you, being in the industry you find yourself, why does it matter? And looking at the deficit yeah. we have yeah. in Ghana, yeah. why is it crucial for people to start paying attention to where they live? Yeah. You've spoken about flooding, for example, sure. and we know that based on climate change, the sure. changes in climatic yeah. you know, conditions, yeah. and where we find ourselves in the tropics and all of that, yeah. things are going to change yeah. over time. Yeah. This is also going to mean that some people in low-lying areas yeah over time are going to be affected. Right. So why must we pay so much attention to where we choose to live? I'll start with you. Yeah. You see, so it's, that's, that's key. Um, right now, for instance, let me just, um, COVID, we're still in a certain kind of wave. You know, when COVID came on, you realize that we're actually working from home. I mean, everybody was almost working from home. So if where you live is not comfortable for you to work from, mm. at the time that the pandemic was at its peak, it was going to be very difficult for you to make ends meet. You understand? 
talking about flooding because of the climate change impact, sometimes the times and the seasons that you expect the rains to come, it doesn't come. So it will only come at a time that maybe you didn't plan for the floods. And then all of a sudden, um, here it is. You are faced with it. That's key. Talking about security, it is very important to have a well laid out place. A well laid out place that if there's an issue of fire or robbery, I mean any kind of um, security thing that borders on security, you can be reached out, you know, and be safe. That's very important. So you, you, you need to think about places. You don't just have to buy. Or you don't just have to, you know, get up and say, I want to buy this property or I want to live here. You need to put these factors into consideration. For instance, um, some engineers came to our site right. and were asking, but why is it that you have this? Why is it that you have that? We said, look, we thought that at the onset of the project, in fact, it's very important, we had to go back to re-engineer. Why? Because we said there's climate change. And so if you don't do certain things, your structures will have difficulties. Mm. And because we know we, how water, for example, can affect even the, the, the very structural integrity of, a, of an edifice. You go around absolutely. Accra and you'll see some buildings, yeah. even public buildings, yeah, yeah, yeah. with cracks yes, all in over. certain places. You would look at beams that look very faulty, very so, shaky. Right. But all of these, we right. don't do a lot of talking about right. structural integrity right. Right. because of the system we have. Sure. So you're taking stock of all of that. Sure. I mean, everything, right from beginning to the end, mm. everything. In fact, yesterday, we were having some other considerations with you know, different engineers, this time around with uh, electrical, electrical engineer. And you know, they were coming in, or he was coming in with ideas that um, wasn't originally planned. You know, you are looking at something that is standard. But he says that he thinks the way you know, the place is coming out. We need to add this. We need, need to, to go add beyond this. standard. But we're also talking about cost. And it was, you know, a debate. But at the end of the day, we said, no, let's do it because you want to do something that is not out there. Or you want to make something that at the end of the day will speak for itself. Mm. Where you live does matter. It's something you cannot take uh, for granted. It's one of the basic needs. So where do you live? That's the question. We'll be getting uh, more from our guests, uh, but in case you just joined us, we're at Ecobank HQ here in Accra. It's the Ecobank Joy News Habitat Fair, 13th edition, and you're welcome. Let me come to Mr. Bidiako uh, before I come back to Madam Kwashi. So you, for example, you have specific solutions when it comes to security and a whole lot more fittings, internal uh, fittings. Yes. But uh, Mr. Hito made a, a very in interesting point, yeah. fire. Fire. For example, yeah. how do you come in when it comes to internal security, not just from the standpoint of getting burgled or <clears> robbed, <throat> but in dealing with fire and other things that could happen, realistically? Yes. Um, like I, I said, Benji, to you, I mean, I said, before we will give you a solution or we want to sell to you, we are coming down to your site. We are going around with you. Okay, you need a security door here. Here you need a fireproof door here. Here you need a burglar proof here. Here you need this here. Mm. So together with you, we are making the plan. Mm. So from the beginning of your construction, I'm, I'm talking about after, after the build, the, the structure. I'm coming in to go through with you all these stages. So for example, somebody says that, okay, this area that I, I live, or this area that I'm cited, um, I want burglar proofs. Put burglar proof in all my windows. Then I tell him, look, I have two types of burglar proofs. I have collapsible ones, and I have a fixed ones. OK, I can tell you more. But the fixed ones, it means that in case there are fire, uh, fire, um, fire problems, or let's say fire emergencies, you cannot escape through. 
you need a collapsible one. Mm. So in some of your houses, I will give you some portions fix burglar proofs because if, for example, let's say a window is close to a door, that window, in case of a fire emergency, you can escape through the door. Right. So I don't need to put... Sometimes we hem ourselves in when it comes to <coughs> fire because we've locked everything up. So exactly. you keep people from the outside, but you forget that you're also not going to be able to go out exactly. in case of such emergency. <coughs> exactly. Mm. So in this case, I will put collapsible ones, the one that you can collapse, you can open, where, there are no, where, where it's not close to doors. Okay. And you have to be an expert to do this. I mean, you cannot just <coughs> enter into a house and say, well, I'll put this one here, this one here. I mean, so this is what I'm saying that we have even the professionals who will come to you and do all these things. So where there are no, uh, where it's not close to doors, we will put a collapsible burglar proof there. So that in case there are emergencies, you can just pass through the collapsible and go through. You see, sometimes it's also funny because some people come and say, look, look, if you put, uh, I want all my, all my burglar proofs collapsibles. I want to open everything and go. So I tell them, look, sometimes it's also not uh, worth it. I mean, because to put all collapsibles in all your windows, for example, if you buy a collapsible burglar proof from me, the collapsible is coming with three set of keys. And maybe in your house you have, let's say, a minimum of 24 windows. Mm. So I'm going to give you uh, 24 times three keys. You understand? So, and also you cannot put all the keys on the collapsible, uh, 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 you cannot put them and leave them out on your windows. You have to remove all the keys and put all the keys somewhere. You understand? So, if That's you going are, to, be, to be quite a lot, juggling exactly all of Exactly, this is what I'm coming to. Hmm. So in case that there are emergencies, you have about 80 something keys to go through, hmm. or less than 92 keys or yeah, more, 72 keys to go through. Hmm. And you are also panicking. So the fire will just kill you. Mm. You understand. So we've, we, we've had incidents uh, this year and mm. in the previous year where yeah. people have basically been trapped yeah. mm. in their own homes yeah. and burnt alive. Yeah. Gas explosion. Yeah. They can't get out yeah. because of the very things you're talking about. Exactly. And next thing you know, uh, human beings are, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, roasting in their own <coughs> homes. So oh. these are realities mm. we must all take stock exactly. of. But from... Uh, the security angle. Yes. I know there are a lot of people listening to you who may be thinking, oh, I mean, your solutions, I mean, these are high-end solutions. Yeah. What are some of the basic things that you would say? Because where we live matters mm. so much exactly. that you would say we should pay attention to the most, the most basic ones that we should pay attention to security-wise. Yes. So like, um, like uh, uh, I think Daniel, right? Yeah. Daniel said, the security of your home, I mean, um, you cannot just put any doors, you understand? I mean, you spend so much money to put up the structure. You need a security door. So I'm just talking about the basic things you need, like the security door in your main entrance. When you say security door, what do you mean? Is, it a, is there a standard when it comes yes, to security Yes, super lock door? security door is what I'm talking about. Right. Super lock security door. The ones that all the banks, 90% of the banks in Ghana are buying is what I'm talking about which have seven to eight locking bolts, which have self-destructive mechanism, which also the minimum of it, I mean, the weight is about, um, the minimum weight is about 50, 50 52 kilo. I mean, more That's than heavy. 50, of course, more heavier than a bag of cement. That's just a single unit door. And you see, I have more design doors. I have more varieties and as, the design becomes more, the weight also becomes more, mm. you understand. So for basic security apparatus in the home, you need burglar proofs also. And the burglar proof is where I was talking about, the collapsible one and the fixed ones. Okay. See, they are all security measures you need. Mm. Also, you need the fireproof doors. And Superlock also do very good fire fireproof doors. Also and, and, and these are all aspects that we all, you know, as, as we put up our buildings, whether you are going to purchase the building, whether you're going to rent it, whether you're building it for yourself, you must pay attention to. Because in the end, your own house could save you or kill you. Exactly. Your own house could. I mean, there could be so many implications. We'll be getting to the cost factor later because that yeah. is also a crucial element in here. Yeah. Some people will tell you we cut corners because of yeah. Charlie, 
<laughs> and now we know about the, the rising cost of building materials mm. and all of that. Mm. But that is where Mrs. Kwashi also uh, comes in. Of course, Elegant Homes and General Construction Limited, where quality meets value. You talk about quality, you talk about value. Looking at our housing landscape and yeah. some of the problems that we've already established, what do you see to be the chief problem in terms of when people go out there, they are purchasing a home, they are putting up a building, part of which may be elegant homes covers. What are some of the things we all ought to be looking at? Um, you know, most people actually look at price without considering quality. Mm. Um, I always say that when you want to buy on price, then be prepared to suffer the consequences. For example, you want a very, you want about a two-story house, very, very beautiful, but you go and buy a land at a place where you know there are no gutters, no access road, nothing. In fact, the environment itself is not the best. You invest so much, and one, your property will not appreciate. Security-wise, the whole area, when it's about 6 p.m., you can't even drive to your own home. But you see, you've invested in an area thinking that you have cut corners. Whereas you can purchase in a gated estate with all the infrastructure and enjoy your home. So, so two crucial points you make before you go on. Appreciation of the price exactly. of property. And we all know uh, the prime areas in you know, Accra. Let, let's stick to Accra. I don't want to make mention of that. Yeah. But there are areas here, here where <laughs> if you purchased even land, let's forget about yeah. the property. If you purchased the land, you could almost guarantee that in a year or two, it's there will be appreciation in, in terms of the value. And again, security, like you it's mentioned, key. because some of these outlets, poor lighting, street lighting, I Nothing. mean, so you could get mugged and all that. Exactly. So these are some of the things people should look at. Uh, you've had instances people have built nice houses in areas, but I, they, they are not even getting people to rent because one, they themselves cannot live there. Why are you running away from that place? Because the road is bad. No street lights, no covered drains. And you remind when, me of a place I went to recently. <laughs> <laughs> when it's 6 p.m., you don't want to go. Right. You get it. So rather than invest in such areas, why don't you look at places where people are relocating? Because you see, the traditional You're area. You're talking of the new developments. Yeah, the traditional areas in Accra, you and I know. Those days when we were young, it was Tema, Sakumono, yeah. Jowulu, Abilengpe, Osu. Right. Now the places are now full. However, there are new areas that are coming up that people are relocating. And th those places will now become the prime areas very soon. I remember one chat that I had with um, one professional some time back who told me that at the time he bought a land in East Legon, mm. if somebody had predicted that East Legon was going to be like this today, he wouldn't have believed because when he moved in, it was all bush. Mm. But you see, with time, people have relocated there, and today everybody wants to go to East Legon. But people will, will raise the same issues that all three of you have been raising, um, access roads and all of that. I'm, I'm sure Daniel, when I get to him, look, back then, many years ago, when I was working in the Dawenya, area, yeah. Pram Pram, the Wenya area. Even now you would see a, people, a few people who are skeptical about moving into those places, but you merely have to go there and see for yourself how many people are putting up you know, entities there. Dodoa, Sein, Kaswa, Oibi, you know, Fafaha. All these communities yes. used to be very, but they are all springing up. So exactly. That's why I'm saying some of those that challenges also exist. Yeah, How do you they do. People? They do exist. But you know, places that people are relocating. I mean, growing up, Kaswa was like very, very far. But now, if you want to buy a land at Kaswa, I'm sure it has gone up. Why? Because Accra, the city center, is choked, and people are relocating. Once people are relocating, once the developers are there, it opens up the place. You get it. It opens up the place. So we can't all be in Accra. Mm. We can't all be in East Legon. Unless you have the funds. You and I know that you can't buy even a land The regular there. person can't. Regular. When exactly. I say regular, I mean the average, uh, you know, Kojo uh, Ama. <laughs> you may not be able to live in East Legon. Me, I'm not able to exactly. live in East Legon right now. So uh, there are dynamics to it. But that yeah. is where it's also interesting because then 
our version of affordable housing comes in. I'll bring in Daniel once more because affordable housing, at least per how we've managed it yeah. government-wise. I mean, Saglemi is there. Each time I pass by, it breaks my heart. Yeah. There are some that started in the Ashanti region under Kufo. Uh, there are those that we have sort of initiated exactly. in recent years. And affordable has become very costly on two levels. One, we may not even be able to afford them per ordinary standards when you look exactly. at our GDP exactly. per capita, what the ordinary Ghanaian is making. And on the second leg, some of them have not been even opened up to the public. So it means that we're losing out on both ends. So when it comes to you spreading out suburban areas and all of that, what should people be looking at in terms of getting a place that it may not be so well developed, but dignifying so that they can start off there? at least start something when it comes to road networks and all of that. Because I also know communities like in Kwabenya, where some of the roads are terrible, people are built on hilly yeah. you know, uh, parts, and sometimes the access roads, they can't even go there. it becomes really difficult. Yeah, you see, let me also, let me start off with, um, with that one, on the fact that no place in Ghana Maybe because we are in Accra, let me just say that no place in Accra is too far. Mm. Oh, say how far is too far? Yes. <laughs> in fact, no place is, is too far. If you, if you come and see what's happening in the Pram Pram area now, when we started off our rent to own campaign, 20, 2019, in fact, it was 2018 that a lot of the stakeholders' engagements and things began. Now, if you come there, the number of people who have moved into that area, so the traffic that we have there is not for nothing. Mm. And it's very good that now the ministry is opening up, you know, from the right. runabout to that area. It's, it's interesting, I mean, how the population is, is moving in there. Now, if you count every five industries or five shops, you can count a block-making factory. Mm. That's the observation. And that's on the back of the booming construction industry. I'm telling you. Mm. And in that particular area, you see, so... I know it's true, because from B5, you know, yes. all the way, you'll see yes. them lined, lined Plenty, up. plenty. Even in Pram Pram Township, all the way from 25, all the way there, you know, it's happening. So no place is too far. But in 2018, you can count after, say, 7 a.m. or 8 a.m., you can count the number of vehicles that, you know, ply between the main Pram Pram Junction and then the Pram Pram Township. The road becomes very, I mean, very quiet. But now it's busy, even weekends. It's busy. You know, so that, that, is, that is very important to know. So if you want to buy, you need to have that at the back of your mind. You may want to invest in Afinia. You may want to invest in that place. You may want to invest in that place. But have it at the back of your mind that, look, in Accra, no place is too far anymore. In a year, in two years, you won't get, if, I, if you delay, like people are, you know, people are, are regretting now mm. for not signing up on our scheme or project a year ago, two years ago. Now they come begging and there's nothing we can do. Fortunately, for those who signed up, they are cool. I mean, they are home and dry, very comfortable. So some of these things, um, it's important. You can't just, because it's also an investment, you can't just, you know, you need to think through. After you have thought about the security and all of that, and maybe the final thing or final um, factor or thing right. that will make you make that consideration, you know, of location is this fact. But you need to, I mean, um, sometimes you just have to advise yourself. Ah, you see, I know. 
you know, it's, it's, a, it's an English uh, platform. But you see, now, this is where people are moving towards. So should I go or should I not? And I can tell you in a year or two, within a year or two, you'll be cool. And even in terms of uh, land, I recall <laughs> I was making some inquiries about land in certain places just a few years ago. Ask me now when I go and you know, make inquiries in those same areas. Yes, yes. It's amazing. Yes. Even some areas that back then I felt, oh, yeah. Had yeah. Da, 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 da. but things yeah. are really changing. changing. And it's also on the back of you know, yeah. uh, things happening mm. uh, Let me just globally. add a little bit. Is it yeah. because of the rapid urbanization? Mm. Now things are... And again, the flow of people, the exactly. rural urban migration is exactly. happening. We've not been able to control it. Exactly. We, we can't control because that's... I mean, it's... Um, people must survive. Food, clothing, shelter is key. If you satisfy the food, if you satisfy the clothing, what about shelter? And if they move, they must have somewhere to live. That one is it's key. You know, so because we haven't been able to plan very well, mm. I mean, from the center, district assemblies, or from the central government, district assemblies, because we haven't been able to plan out these areas, we are going to see a certain phenomenon until we begin to take that step now. We are going to begin to, I mean, we are going to see this phenomenon continue. It's a very strong, you know, planning is very expensive because at the end of the day, it will add value to the properties. It will bring value to you as a district assembly or even government in how much revenue you can be able to generate. Mm. But it takes a lot of money to do that. But the most important thing mm. from where I sit, you don't always need money to do a lot of things mm. or very essential and good things. And expanding it further, you don't always need plenty money to do a lot of good things. So that's one misconception a lot of people have. If I you recall tell you from last that. year, we're I talking about the fact that you know, cost, cost, cost. And yeah. cost is real, yeah. but you can start small. I remember exactly. that phrase from last year, start exactly. small. Exactly. You can start with something, you can expand, exactly. you can build upon it. And even depending on your status sure. you know, sure. at a particular time, sure. maybe you're a fresh graduate, you've sure. landed a job, sure. your status is different from when you've been working for 10 years, you're a business executive right. and all of that. Because right. then, your requirements, your tastes, right. your, everything would have changed right. and you would go for different things. Right. So v v crucial points you've made. Um, in case you're just joining us or if you've stayed with us so far, is the Ecobank Joy News Habitat Fair. We are here at the headquarters of Ecobank in the heart of Accra. It's the 13th installment of the Habitat uh, Fair and it's powered by the Plan City Extension Project from Cities and Habitats. Also, of course, by Echo Bank, the Pan-African Bank. Other sponsors, Elegant Homes, they are here, large and in charge, uh, Elegant Homes and General Construction Limited, where quality meets value. Mrs. Kwashi was talking about quality a short while ago. We also have Virtual Security Africa, complete security solutions. Then there's Superlock Technologies Limited. I'll be going to Mr. Bidiako shortly. He'll be telling me a bit more, but they say you deserve the best which feeds into our theme, where you live matters and you deserve the best. There's also DBS Industries Limited. We truly are your roof experts and gold key properties, building prestige since 1997. Mr. Bidiakun, there's a whole lot we are talking about and we can't run away from cost. Yeah. We just heard from the government statistician yesterday, 29.8%. Last time we hit this level was in December 2003. Yeah. <laughs> but while the town is hot, yes. we must still build. Yeah, exactly. We must have a roof over our heads. Exactly. How do we manage it <clears throat> in terms of general components? And I'm, I'm putting that to you first of all because yeah. you have a wide array of items that you provide. Yeah. Once uh, Mrs. Kwashi and Mr. Edu do their thing, mm. you come in. I come in, exactly. So looking at the cost of building materials, looking mm. at the cost of all these security components, what would be your advice to people wanting to build and how does it fit into you know, what you do? Okay, so I, 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 I would take it in two ways. <clears throat> First of all, like um, 
Madame Doherty said, one must know that quality things are expensive. Uh, in the local what, language, what, what in can it tell, sir? <laughs> yes, yes. In the local language, we say it in Chi that Kwan Chen Adi Efe. So whilst you know that, then it informs my number two point that says your planning. You understand? It informs your way of planning. Okay. So in, in planning, you have to take things one at a time. Do you understand? So you need to acquire the land. How are you going about it? Okay, this is like you even mentioned, checking your social standards or your, 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 your life. I mean, your level, let, let me say. Can you afford a land in East Legon now? It's part of the plan. You should ask yourself. Maybe Sammy, the answer is no. <laughs> okay, not you anyway. <laughs> but we'll get there. Yes. But Maybe Beverly Hills. Girl. However, <laughs> however, there are some other areas that you can, you can, you, you can uh, afford or you can at least deposit or mm. make some payments. Someone's own may, you know, be suitable for club. Exactly. You, you have to. Uh -huh. Exactly. And that's why I like what uh, Danny said. He says that there's no way far if you're talking about Accra. And Madame Doherty also mentioned it several times and said, look, when we're young, if you talk about Kaswa, you say, hey, central region. But yeah. today, Kaswa is Accra. Whether you, you like it or yes. Some people will say, oh. Oh. Exactly. Eastern and region. Of course. Bodo. But go, go to Akosu. Go and see. Mm. If you talk about Pram Pram, it's all oh, water region. Can, can you imagine? Dodo exactly. Dodo. Dodo are just here. So you see, today, all these people, all these areas are Four. just close to us. Yeah. And sometimes also funny, 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 funny enough. Look, I used to stay around the, um, beyond Ablekuma, okay. somewhere called Insakina. Okay. okay. I'm telling you, those days, like two, you know, about four or five years ago, because of the, the road network there, I have to move and come to live close yeah. to where my work is. You, Not to mention roads. <laughs> of course. So somebody may live in, for his, let's say in some, and uh, this is an example, okay? And let's say the, route, the, the, the road network is good. Those days, when I'm moving from Sakina to Joel, where my office is, I spend one hour, 40 minutes. Believe you me. So depending on where you have to depending get to work, on where. You have so to set off if you want to talk or... about if you want to talk about where it's far, I was just uh, behind just after Blake Kuma and Sakina. Mm. It's, it's in Accra proper. Yeah. But because of the, the the road network, the traffic was so terrible. I get home, I get to to office very late. So looking at I'm coming back to the planning. Yeah. Looking at your your status where you are, you can acquire in Pram Pram. You can acquire land in. Kaswa, in OEB, in those places whereby you can really afford on the, the cost of land. Then also the house, the, 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 the housing unit, also the same. So a basic unit there, cut your coat according to your cloth at the time. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Else you will break your back, yeah. your financial yeah. back, that is. Yeah. Fantastic. You, it, it will be disastrous. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, to, on to the second piece. Yes, so, so I've taken the two and the, 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 the first and the second. I, I mean, the, the first to, is, to, is to say that you should know that quality okay. cost. Comes at a cost. Exactly. Right. You should know. Then once you know that in your planning towards it, the second one is to looking at your standard, your level, where you want to start from. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, if you want to go straight to quality, and you want to pay, let's say, considering the fact that you know quality cost, come to Superlock. And we will, we, will, we will sit down and we will see how we can give you some deals that you, you, you will even So you have marvel. packages for people? Of course. I mean, course. if people are not able to you know, of course. cough up all of the money? Of course. Of yeah. course. Come and I'll give you some nice things. And I mean, you, you'll be very happy. We'll take it from there. Uh, also, the also, I'm coming back. <laughs> also, the one staying in Pram Pram, you know, uh, from Pram and beyond those areas, right. some of the places, it's not so much developed like that. I mean, it's yeah. now coming up. That's why yeah. you can get the land cheap. It's a reality. At a yeah. very, yeah. So you also need a very good security system there. Mm. 
So come and we will, we will give you some, some terms. And you, you, we, we can also, also, also even with security doors, we have levels. Mm. We have the basic one. We'll get into, I, I, we'll, we'll get into some of those uh, shortly. <laughs> thank because you, Ben. Obviously, yeah, there are different grades, and he'll yeah. be walking us through them. Exactly. And yeah. of course, yes. during the launch, he'll have more time uh, to expatiate on these. But yeah. I want us to quickly look at the cost factor as well. Right. Because, look, yeah. bottom line of everything we're it's discussing awesome. here, people are going to be talking about Pumayeshi. Yeah. Everything has gone up. Yeah. 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 Cement is now, the last time I checked, 50 something. Yeah, yeah. almost CDs 60 gun. Per yeah. bag. Yeah. 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 Fuel has gone up. Yeah. Yeah. So, whatever you're doing, mm. even when you go and get your gravel, mm. your iron rods, mm. your cement, yeah. you are going to convey them to the site, right? right? Exactly. Fuel prices are also going to bite right. you. Mm. If you're going to import things, the, the exchange rate will also. Yeah. So, from all yeah. angles, yeah. you're going to be hit. Yeah. Mm. So, the reality is that Cost. even the person who wants to put up something, or rent, or whatever, is also thinking, hmm, mm -hmm. is this the best time to do this? But we all know where you live yeah. matters. matters. Exactly. So what would you say in, in that respect from the cost angle? I'll put that briefly to the two of you before we, we get into other yeah. aspects of planning. I'll certainly give this question. You see, cost is cost. I'll say that even the food we eat, mm -hmm. depending on what type of food you want to eat in a day, you're going to spend so much. And so when it comes to building or it comes to properties, you realize that um, last year when we spoke about um, to buy or to build, we did mention that if you want to build, you know, you build over a period of time and you realize that you end up spending more than when you buy, uh, you buy it um, at a particular time. Because when you buy a particular time, you are able to even live in and enjoy. Rather than people use about 15 years. Let's say you start building at the age of 45 and you are building incrementally. By 15 years, you are retiring. Right. So you do, some don't even get to live in their homes. They you, move in and the you, next you, year. You build, you build for other people to come <laughs> and <laughs> And some too, you see, the, 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 the drawing is so big that I, you have four children, so you are putting up a five-bedroom house yeah. at age of 45, forgetting that by the time you turn 60, the young children that you think you are going to live in yeah. that house with them, they are now 15. They are now, they've moved out. Some may even be married and all that. Mm. And so at 60 years, you cannot even live there alone. Right. If yeah. you want to rent too, it is too big for a young graduate to, to, to go and rent. Mm. And maybe your, the location-wise too, it's not an area that somebody will even want to. Even if you want to resell, you cannot also make anything out of it. So as much as cost is a factor, you look at other amenities too. It's like getting a car, right? Exactly. You also want to look at uh, whether it's going to be saleable, so to speak, uh -huh. when, when you want to. You get it. So, after a few years. rather than um, thinking about cost, 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 and maybe building in an area, I visited a house. The house is so beautiful. Mm. You can see that the person has invested so much. But when you look at the area, I wonder if the person can stay there for a week. Because, mm. one, the first thing that came to mind was robbery. Anybody who, in fact, when you are even being attacked it is so difficult to get somebody to come in to help mm. you so investing people will say cost all right but you know when you are building your home and uh, you want to make it so comfortable that you forget about the other things that matter and then you spend so much only for you to finish and you realize that oh from the junction to the house when it rains i cannot even drive out of the house it's impossible yes right. you realize that oh so in times of need i can't get anybody to help you realize that there are no shops even schools there's nothing within the area but yet you've gone to build it and when you compare the cost of that you, how much you have invested in that place it could have also been able to acquire you a place where you can live in, you can enjoy some kind of um, uh, social amenities mm. and still have a good road and all that. Mm. So people do talk about cost, but one thing that I've noticed is that when you are even doing a custom-made house for people, the kind of things they want to put in, you'll be amazed that this person came in with this cost issue and now that he has the option to choose, 
the kind of things he's choosing, you give, you prepare the bill and you realize that he's even gone beyond he's the, sta yes, the standard price. Okay, so, so, so if I were to ask you, and I'll, I'll put those same questions to uh, Mr. Edu as well, averagely, yeah. when it comes to your facilities, yeah. depending on what you're offering, yeah. uh, what average cost would you be looking at for uh, maybe uh, the average Ghanaian, the blue collar Ghanaian, the white collar Ghanaian, what, what ranges would you be looking at? And what do you think realistically, if I were to get up today and say, okay, uh, I mean, options. Yeah. If I don't want to come your way, or maybe okay. I can't afford your right. route, yeah. how much averagely would it cost me to put up something in a good area, dignifying, and then we can, like he says, start small? Um, what, what comes with you? Talk of a good area. Uh, I want to know the area mm. because some of the areas um, that you even buy land very, very cheap are not even more trouble. Mm. So, whichever so cheap way, becomes expensive. It becomes mm. expensive because if you mm. go and buy gravels from town and it has rained and the tipper truck cannot go there, mm. he will charge you double or triple. So, whichever way you look at it, we can't run away from the fundamentals. Mm. Most of these areas are not developed. And I can tell you, people have even bought lands elsewhere, and after the foundation, they are still renting in town, because nobody is there. I know a few people who are doing that. But, but very quickly, before I go to Mr. Yudu, so yeah. the cost factor, the cost I mean, factor. averagely. Yeah, averagely, it depends on what you want. I mm. can't sit here mm. and give an average cost. So the person would have to come and then the based on, it's tailor-made, what you want is what yes, you want. Yes, what you want and what mm. your pocket decides because okay. you will be surprised. Even the young ones that you think will start very low, their taste is so high. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I guess uh, we'll be having a, we'll a movement. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but let me come to you, Mr. Edu. Uh, for you, what can you say on the cost situation? Because I know, like I said, yeah. you're importing a lot of these uh, components as well, those that are locally manufactured, I, you know, because some of the, the components that I used to manufacture them mm -hmm. are also rising, mm -hmm. everything is yeah. going high. How are you managing all of this and what would be your advice to people watching us in terms of how they can manage mm -hmm. this space and get something, you yeah. know, something dignified? Yeah, you see, I, I made a point earlier on that you don't need a lot of money to do a lot of good things. If our money is not, for me, money is not uh, most of the time the main thing. Sometimes you need to think through, beyond. think beyond money. How, how little is enough? I'm going to come to that. So you see, um, for our model, the way it is structured, with the cooperative, you know, approach, mm makes it very easy for most people. And sometimes, depending on the target, middle income, low income, the high end, the very high end. You know, so for us, a lot of people can afford very quality. In fact, if you come to see the quality of material that is being used and the workmanship, you marvel, you would want to ask, how is that possible? Sometimes, I mean, um, just a while ago, you, you, you make mention of the fact that because of the cost issues, one would want to ask, is it the best time to do it or what? Absolutely, and of course, um, we are not, because we are not in normal times, if you want to manage cost, when it comes to building, then you ought to get an approach that would make you, know, make you get what you want. That would also involve project management. Absolutely. Quality time, So cost, you are all looking those at You are looking at the whole chain. You are looking at the whole chain. And especially procurement is very key. You know, that can make you minimize or make your pricing stable so that people can reach out to you. People can afford what you are talking about. Mm -hmm. I mean, what the, the product or service that you are, 
you are um, offering. You know, so from the cost approach, I believe that, I mean, you can do it. You need to be part of a project or you need to find out the place that when you go, you will get the best value at reasonable cost or at the price that you can afford. Mm. Because you cannot say that you want to defer. If you defer your decision on buying a property today, you are going to buy double, you are going to buy it at double the price tomorrow. You were saying that last year, people, people are ruining the fact that last year they didn't come on board. Exactly. Because now everything has gone up. Exactly. Sure last year people were expecting Russia to... You know, yes, in fact, nobody, nobody did. But between, <laughs> between like November to somewhere March, everything had doubled. And so I was saying that if it hadn't been for the fact that, you know, we have structured our project in a certain way, we were, in fact, we were far ahead. So all the pricing issue, I think uh, there was an interview and I was, I was saying that, wow, we are weathering it. You know, because these I've, are- I've been wondering how you've been able to manage with, yes. with the cost differentials. We, and your clients, because you decide on some fixed terms with them. Exactly, the yeah. call, I mean the call from outside, the call from, I mean, locally, and are wondering. I tell them we crossed that place long time. So, yeah. and it's going to be those who are now coming in that are going to be faced with the new pricing. But even that, we have made sure that it's reasonable. I okay. mean, everybody, everybody, in fact, if you are earning, if you are earning 2,000 Ghana cities, if your take home is 2,000 Ghana cities, and when I say this, sometimes it's like it's not possible. If you are earning 2,000 Ghana cities, I mean, your take home is 2,000 Ghana cities, you can afford your ho a house, one bedroom that is expandable, and you build upon it. Mm. Quality in a, in a, in a, in a well-built, laid-out environment where your children, where your family can live, play. Very quickly, because we have to uh, go shortly. But yeah. how many years are you looking at for, for those who want to rent to own? How many years, averagely, are you? Yeah, so the threshold is... 25 years. 25. Next year, it's going to, we are going to reduce it because mm. times have changed. Right. Next year, we are going to reduce it. But for now, it's 25 years. Okay. But you choose. If you want to do it one year or you want to do it outright or you want to do 10 years or 20 years, that's up to you. Okay. It's based uh, on your pocket hold, and budget. Hold it there for me. Do you have any uh, facility? I mean, is it an outright buy when it comes to elegant homes? different types of payments. We have the outright purchase and then we have mortgage, mm -hmm. mortgages, where clients can um, go in for mortgage and then pay. And then we have what we call the personal self-financing, where you pay 50% or 40% or 30% and the rest is spread between 12 to 18 months. And then the last terms of payment is what we call the alternative payment plan. That one is done case by case basis. So if you walk up to me and you tell me this is how I want the payment to be structured, right. then we do that for that you. That can also be done. Yeah, it can be done. But mm. it's all boils down to the fact that you have to complete payments before you move into the home. Okay. Uh, you have also spoken about some payment plans. I want us to wrap with our summary comments. I'm going to give you 45 seconds to a minute each. In that time, as you summarize, you know, some of the things we've talked about, location, cost, um, start small, uh, there's no too far away, and all of that. I also want to factor in the Tema project. Look at what we started decades ago under Nkrumah. Look at the plan. And there was a blueprint to replicate that. We never got that. Because another aspect of all the things we're talking about is planning, which has failed. In less than a minute, if you can, what can you say on these? I'll start with you, Mr. Viliako. So, like the team goes, um, where you live matters. Mm. So what I want to say briefly or simply is that you know where you live matters. I mean, your home, your family, your children, the future of all, it starts from there. Everything starts from home. 
So, first of all, make a very good plan. Mm. And we are here to help you. Okay. Um, as Superlock and as my uh, colleagues here are, are saying. So come to us, let's sit down, understand your need. Mm. Sometimes you, what, all what you need is one bedroom. Okay. Right. Not two or three. Then, after that, come to Superlock for the best security door, burglar proof, balustrade, all, right. all you need to finish Thank your you, house. Mr. Ebediako. We'll Thank have you. a second <laughs> session which will allow you to do a lot more talking on that. Good. Uh, Mr. Edu. <laughs> yeah, so um, planning is very key. Um, I think for now, I do not know, but I assume and presume that the Ministry of Local Government and uh, maybe Works and Housing, works and housing. have plans. But as our project name goes, Planned Cities, mm. it's Planned Cities. We are hoping or we are expecting to replicate this across the various regions of the country based on the same model, same right. rent to own model. Which area are you targeting next to work with you? We are looking at Kumasi. All right, thank you. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll come to you. Uh, yeah. Mrs. Kwashi, 30 seconds if you can manage it. Um, I want to say that where you live matters. So in choosing where you want to live, you want to live in a place where you know that um, your property will appreciate. You want to live in a place where you have good neighborhood. You want to live in a place where it is close and close proximity to other amenities. And you want to live in a place where you always love where you live. And that is what elegant homes offer. Come talk to us and let's make you Let's make your dream home a reality. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, we want all of you to come on board as we hit the West Hills Mall and the Yachimota Mall. Uh, this year, Junction Mall, no, because of the construction going on around the, Nungwa, the Tishi Nungwa area. But we have a lot more for you. Three days apiece. Come and meet all of these uh, people there. I'm talking about Superlock Technologies Limited. I'm talking about Elegant Homes and General Construction Limited and the Plan City Extension uh, Project. Now, don't you forget, this is the 13th installment of the Echo Bank Joy News Habitat Fair. And it's all because where you live matters. And that is why you must be a part of this all-important event, which comes to you uh, once a year. The Echo Bank Joy News Habitat Fair is in partnership with Echo Bank, the Pan-African Bank. We've held this at their headquarters here in Accra. It's also powered by the Plan City Extension Project from Cities and Habitats Rent to Own, and also sponsored by Elegant Homes and General Construction Limited, where quality meets value, Virtual Security Africa, Complete Security Solutions, Superlock Technologies Limited. You deserve the best, DBS Industries Limited. We truly are your roof experts. And Gold Key Properties, building prestige since 1997. But just to acknowledge uh, Daniel Ohini Edu, Project Manager, uh, Cities and Habitats, thank you for joining. We've also had Mrs. Dorothy Ifwakwashi, Executive Director, Elegant Homes and General Construction. Thank you so much, Madam. And finally, Mr. Ebenezer Bediako, Sales Manager with Superlock Technologies. Gentlemen, lady, thank you so much. I'm Benjamin Akako. This is how we wrap up uh, on the AM show. But up next, Joy News uh, Desk. Do stay with us, and we'll bring you the launch of the Habitat Fair later. <laughs>